my friends, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new here. I am Martina Lilly and today we have day number six of my everyday Pat McGrath Lab series that I am currently running here on my channel. If you are new to the series, it is where I am creating a very simple everyday makeup look using one of my Pat McGrath Labs motherships or palettes in my collection to inspire you guys to use your more pat and expensive pat palettes on the everyday. Today we have Midnight Sun. It was my very, very first mother shape palette that I ever tried from Pat McGrath Labs. It definitely holds a special place in my heart. And yeah, we're just going to create a look together. So if that sounds interesting to you, uh, go ahead and do the YouTube things like subscribe, hit that notification bell and let's zoom on in and create a look. I have already primed my lids using my Rare Beauty eye primer like normal. We are going to dip into Midnight Sun and Midnight Sun I find is a very easy palette to just only dip into this one because this one for me is like an easy transition shade. I'm going to take my Ruffer 27 and dip into this shade first. So I'm just going to start by softly building this up through the crease and the outer corner today. As I mentioned in the intro, this was my first ever Pat McGrath Labs palette. It took me so long to decide which one I wanted to try. For the first time because it was definitely an expensive purchase and at the point that I tried Pat for the first time I hadn't really I wasn't in like my luxury phase of makeup like I am now where it's you know I spend ridiculous amounts of money on makeup like I definitely used a lot more affordable brands and like kind of just the Sephora mid-range type brands you know I think I only had even at that point, I could be wrong, but I feel like I only had one Natasha Denona palette. I think, yeah, I think I did. And then I had like all of the Huda palettes and stuff, but I can't remember where really actually which palettes I had a lot of back then. But anyway, needless to say, Pat was an investment for me. It definitely started a love affair for luxury makeup. <laughs> that's for sure, and a love affair for Pat. I just never ever tried anything like her special shades before ever. And I was blown away. And actually my husband bought this for me for an anniversary gift. So I didn't even buy this first palette myself. He purchased it for me for our anniversary, which was like the best gift ever. And then started a very expensive kind of addiction almost, well, not an addiction, but pursuit of all of her mothership palettes. And then I've just been obsessed with Pat ever since. And I still really adore Midnight Sun. I actually think it's one of the, I actually think, sorry, it's a good mothership to begin with um, because it has quite a few different tones in it, like quite every day, especially if you like more warm tones, it's quite a versatile palette. But that's just my little humble opinion. I do have a new Pat McGrath Labs ranking on my channel, by the way, that I did this year. I kind of do them every year, sometimes twice a year, depending on how many palettes she's released in that time, like between the start of the year and the end of the year and, and how many times you guys want to, or how much you guys are hounding me. Sometimes I get a lot of requests to re-rank them if there's been quite a few palettes and then, you know, other times it's just the once a year kind of thing. It is hard to rank them though, I will say, because I love them all individually for their own reasons. So it's really just, and a lot of the times I find my ranking is just like the kind of makeup preferences and vibes that I'm, you know, going for at that period of time. It can kind of change. So yeah, I don't know. I always just say with Pat, go with the color story that inspires you the most. I'm gonna pick up a Ruffle 14 and I'm gonna go into a teensy bit of this dark brown color today. I'm really hoping in like, in my real time, this will be going up weeks later and the review's probably already up of it. I'm really hoping today that my new Natasha Denona concealers arrive. So fingers crossed they do, it says that they should. I'm so intrigued to try it because it seems like the reviews have been really hit and miss. Like always, if anything I do is like too deep for you or not deep enough, you know, you cater the look to suit you, my friend. Okay, taking my Pat Intensify stick, pop 
popping this over three quarters of the lid, stopping just in this outer corner bit here. I'm going to pick up a Refa 27 and I don't know if this is going to be every day for you guys, but I wanted to kind of show you it and show you that it kind of can be. And obviously every day is very subjective, so keep that in mind. But I'm going to dip into Astral Solstice here, which is a very glittery and flaky formula. It's like a, a suspended glitter type formula. So um, I definitely recommend doing eyes first if you're going to use this shade. And I definitely recommend something like the Intensified Stick or a glitter glue or something like that. I'm also going to take a setting spray and wet the brush because if you kind of wet these more glittery shades, they kind of become a little bit more opaque instead of just being like that suspended glitter type formula and I'm going to place this where we put the intensifiers. You could also just not use this shade if this was too much for you and you could use like the champagne shade in the top corner. Oh that is so pretty though, wow. Just taking that Ruffer 27 with that original transition shade, I'm just gonna lightly diffuse this a little bit further. I don't really have much more product on the brush. I'm just really kind of buffing out what's here. All right, let's do the speed through of my base makeup now. As always, the products that I use on my face will be linked in the description box down below for you guys, along with the palette, all affiliate links. So if you shop through them, thank you so much. And yeah, let's do the speed through. We'll do lower lash line and then lips. So let's do it.
the base makeup is all finished. I'm going to pop my Victoria Beckham Cocoa Liner in my top waterline and the eye brightener in my lower waterline. Picking up my Delium Tools Triple Seven Shader Brush, we're going to go into this shade for the lower lash line. Just picking up a little uh, Refa Three pencil brush and going into the dark brown in the palette, and I will just deepen this outer lash line a little bit. Just going into the champagne shade here for the inner corner. Putting my Victoria Beckham Future Lash on and then we will do lips. For lips, taking my good old faithful iconic nude from Charlotte Tilbury. And then I'm going to take Soft Nude from the Moisture Glow Plumping Lip Color from Mario for my actual lip color. Right, let me go and put my jewelry and everything on and then we will zoom back and see the finished look in two seconds. Alrighty, this is the finished look for Midnight Sun. What do you guys think? For me, this is, again, very in my comfort zone. I feel like all of the looks that I've been doing... For this series is just super super like my go-to kind of looks but i guess that's the kind of point anyway who cares uh what do you guys think let me know in the comments is this too glittery for you would you switch out this shade or is this like a good everyday look for you let me know in the comments i hope you're enjoying the series so far if you're watching till this point you're an absolute legend thank you so so much uh if you are enjoying it please give the video a thumbs up and subscribe and i hope you have the most amazing day wherever you are in the world and i will see you next time bye